Hey everybody, and welcome back to Super Paul Games Plays um, Expeditions Conquistador. Um, last time we lost Juan, I think it was last time. So we're going to arrange a memorial service for him, which will happen when we go camp next. And so let's control, uh, control? Let's head on our merry way. As merry as it can be when we have to bury one of our own. Still don't know if it was worth it losing him for the magic spear, but whatever. Poor Juan. Ooh, what's over here? We might let the piggy go, because I just don't feel like chasing it. But we will check this out. Then we'll head up there. There's some ruins or something. Okay, we'll check this out first. What's that? It's a ship? Why would there be a ship here? Whatever, let's camp. Everyone is gathered to pay the respects to Juan Ortega. The mood is, is obviously low. Oh, I forgot that Rita and her him had a thing. But Rita Martinez is taking it surprisingly well. The soldier is standing right next to, you to the fresh, fresh grave, staring with a blank expression at the wooden cross marking on it. After the ceremony, everyone goes back to work. Rita kneels at the grave and places a wild flower on the mound. I'll just stay and listen. Rita is mumbling, clearly not intending for anyone to hear, but you're close enough that you can make out her wor words. I, I should have done something. I should have... I wish there was something. It was a magic statue that murdered the guy you like. Not much you can do. She wipes a tear from her face. If anything, you should blame me, but don't do that. I, I don't know how I'll make it without you. You were the only good thing in this, this godforsaken wilderness. I never thought I'd find love here, of all things. Probably not. She half chuckles, half sobs. Going back to Spain, buying a manor, having three children... A universal grief tints her voice in desperate color. You pass through my life, leaving nothing but ripples in the water. <laughs> the soldier slumps over the grave, her tears quietly dripping off her nose onto the grave. After wandering for a short time, your mind settles on Ta Tayana, and with heavy steps you walk back towards the camp. It's like, aw, I love my woman. Give me magic. That means tonight when I go back to camp, there's going to be much lady humping. Okay, preserve some of that meat. And Doc, you preserve some of the meat too. So I guess we'll go this way. Actually, let's go back and forth. <laughs> I think this is all jungle according to the map, but I just want to explore this open area a little bit. Yeah, it looks like it's all kind of jungle. I don't know, maybe there's a pass through here somewhere? We'll camp once. Ah, uh, some of our meat spoiled. Oh, well, we got plenty. And we got some equipment. Kick ass. Confiscated from some people. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be going anywhere. All right, we're gonna turn back and backtrack. Go, Don Quixote, go! Can't see you from the trees. I can't see the horses from the trees. That's a new saying I just invented. So, um, Doc, you work on. Oh, we can't make any barricades. So I guess you work on. Um... Fuck! What are you gonna do? I guess you work on herbalism. Carlos Zaraga. A cave entrance has been spotted nearby. Send an expedition member to search for metal ore. A higher patrolling skill in your own scouting will increase the potential boon of exploring caves. Beware that caves can be dangerous and there's a risk the follower might exchange or um, get a light injury. All right, we'll have Daniela go check out the caves. Because I don't care if she gets hurt. Not trying to be a jerk. I just don't care. Um, we'll have you patrol. Zarago, what are you doing? Okay, you're working on our new magic axe. She returns empty-handed from patrolling the cave, or exploring the cave. You know what, Daniela? Maybe next time I should send somebody else. Can we do it here again? We're gonna camp again. She still found nothing. Whatever. You suck, woman. 
Can we at least get a bunch of food or anything? Oh, we got an, almost enough meat to eat. Ride, horse, and ride. Ride it like a fat lady. I don't know, it's pretty peaceful. Everything's somber after Juan died. Okay, so Daniela, you just patrol. Everybody else should be good. Let's see, our hunting party got 12 meat. That's cool. What are those? Are those sails? Why would there be a ship? What the fuck? Uh, let me grab this thing and then we're gonna look at our map. Then we're gonna check out the ship better. Why would there be a ship here? You want to portage into the middle of the fucking jungle? Let's find out! I forgot to hit record. I stopped for a second. I forgot to start recording. You only missed us taking about five steps to the right to check out the ship area. You're making your way down the river as shocked gasps from your expedition members turn your attention towards a Spanish ship suspended at the top of trees near the opposite bank. You can't possibly imagine what could have happened to get it up there, but your people seem eager to investigate. I'm going to cross the river and check it out. You find a place where the current is fairly weak and quickly construct a makeshift rack, raft. Rack? I like those lady racks. You know it. High five the computer. Then you and some of your people cross and make your way through the dense undergrowth towards the ship. On the ground beneath the ship lie several shattered boxes and barrels. Barrels that must must have once contained supplies for an expedition. An old rope descends from one of the ship's rafters, and you think it might support the weight of a person. I'm going to climb up it myself. I'm adventuresome. You carefully climb the rope and enter the ship. It's slightly slanted, but sufficiently upright that you can stand on the deck. The deck? Stand on the deck? Let's go look at the captain's cabin first. Uh, the door to the captain's cabin has cracked and fallen off its hinges. You search a broken cupboard and a rotten chest and find a few valuable baubles. I love baubles. Um, as you're packing the items in your bags, you catch a glimpse of movement out of the corner of your eye. You turn to see a huge constrictor snake moving down the floor towards you. Let's kill it. You skewer the snake with great finesse. Then you finish searching the cabin and packing up the treasure. That's it. What if I wanted to go in the hold? I guess that's all. You get to pick one thing. Well, that was interesting. I was hoping it would be more interesting. Whatever. It's weird finding a ship out here. It's not very ship shape if you ask me. Our ship's better. I'm just saying. How's our magic axe coming? Alright. Do we have enough stuff to build a barricade? We do. How many uh, things do we have? All right, we got 15 barricades. Oh, I must have left to making those. We got five spike traps, three torches, a magic spear. <laughs> I don't even know if we should use the magic spear. Hell if I know. Uh, we'll have one of you guys preserve some meat. Let's see. Yay, the hunting party returns the good spirits. Go back to hunting. Uh, Doc, why don't you, um, why don't you build some spike traps? I would like to make more of those. I like those things. See, I don't know if I should pull, I want to use the magic spear in our next, I guess, I was going to say debate. It's probably not a debate, engagement. We're going to get engaged. Everybody's getting married. I got some sweet stuff here, man. Give me your piggy meat. Thank you. I was on their Kickstarter page, the developers, when they were making this. If they had raised more money, they were going to add an Incan, Incan campaign. So you could be Pizarro or whatever. That would have been cool. Ooh, we got 147 valuables from an abandoned hunt. Hut. Hut. Uh. <laughs> Words be hard! Okay, let's touch the magic stone. Does that give us anything new to do? No. 
I really don't know where to go. I guess we gotta go north to buttfuck land. I wonder if anybody would believe us that we're like, yep, yeah, we came back from El Dorado. We found a bunch of shit. We got a magic spear. Got some gold. That's how we roll. Alright, touch the magic watering hole. Oh man, this is gonna... We're gonna run out at like the worst time. It's not gonna make any difference. We'll just camp anyway. Okay, we'll touch it and get refreshed. Drink my waters. Take me to the water. Squishy scratch. It's so peaceful. I'm so used to all the mur- oh, Can we go that way? Probably gonna die in the jungle. Let's go south and find the Amazon. Let's go to Guatemala. This isn't Guatemala. How do I? Whoa! Where is this place? <laughs> All right, we'll just camp. You are roused from your sleep by the sounds of battle. Tribal warriors have snuck through your apparently inadequate defenses and running rampant through your camp. Those sons of bitches. Men and women are running past burning tents. Metal clashes against obsidian. Injured servants and troops scream. Let's regroup in the center of the... Um, fuck. Let's see to the wounded. Unable to find a doctor to help you, you move along through the camp, dragging the wounded out of harm's way and trying to patch them at least to stop bleeding. It's a daunting task. However, your skills aren't quite up to the task. After waiting quite a bit of t wait <laughs> wasting quite a bit of time, it's clear that there are too many wounded for me to handle. It's time to address the situation. Can we regroup in the center of the camp at least? You grab a few of your people who aren't currently engaged and order them to gather everyone in the center of camp. It takes a while before everybody can disengage, but your troops are well trained and with your tactical oversight they are soon gathered in a good type formation in the center of camp. Uh, you find a vantage point and start barking out orders. Burr, burr. Soon the chaos has reigned in a little and your troops are once again under your command. Gabriella, Raphael, Anna, Sierra. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. This is where we would have had Juan come with us. Shit, man. I thought we had more soldiers. Did somebody else get injured I don't know about? Who's, uh... We got you, you're a soldier. Oh, Martinez is injured. What the hell? Oh, that must be from the attack just now. That must be, I was gonna be like, what, we've been carrying all these injured people around? I was gonna be like, fuck no. Okay, so some of these people we can't use because of that. I got you. Sucks balls. That is not good. Some of our best people are out. Alright, Laszlo. You're in. Tayana's a little shooter. We might as well get Daniela in, I guess. We're gonna be fucked. This ain't good. Man, it's like some of our, We lost... We lost Ortega, one of our better fighters. Pilar is injured. I think... Did they say Anna was injured? Like, some of our better fighters that are still alive aren't in this, because we got jumped. Some of a bitch. Ow. I just punched myself in the head, too. That wasn't necessary, probably, on my part. Okay, preparation phase. Okay, I see four guys there. So it looks like four. Bound to be some on the other side. Where are they? Can't just be those four dudes. Oh man, I'm not gonna use the golden spear from now on. It only hits one spot. I mean, that's huge damage. What are the odds you're gonna hit the person's gonna be standing there? We got lucky last time. So let's, um,. Okay, you're the hunters, we'll put you there. Soldiers there. 
Soldier's there. I don't like you, Laszlo. There you go. Daniela, we'll put you on the side. Anna, okay, Anna is okay. So, just out of curiosity, we're just gonna, on the very off chance, they're coming from multiple ways, put a barricade there. Put a barricade there. I mean, we got plenty of barricades at least. See those? Put a barricade there, and a barricade there. All right, so let's see, let's move you up to there. I should have barricaded there too. Put you on a rifle. Well, it's not a rifle. It's an arquebus. <laughs> put you up there. Actually, we'll put you there. Put Anna in the front since she can't fire long range anyway. There you go, Raphael. Do you want to interrupt? Hernandez. Put you there. Um, let's see, we'll put Lazlo behind you on interrupt with the uh, Arquebus. We'll do the same thing with Gabriella here. Alright, I was worried there were people behind us. I should have put another barricade down. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, at least you hit him. Wasn't a very good shot, but at least you hit him. No, no, no. Man, there are too many of them. This is bad. There's eight of them. We don't have our best people with us. Okay, what we need to do is set up to kill like two people right away. If we can. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is, um, your soldier? Yeah. We're gonna use a stun attack on this guy. Yeah. And then maybe it's overkill, but the guy can't move. So we're gonna use the magic spear on him. So since he's stuck there, that should kill him. We'll take a lantern and put it here. Put it right there. We, oh, we can't throw it that far? That would make sense. Somebody's gotta throw it. Hmm. Guess we'll wait on that. So we do need to kill some of these guys. Can we double shot this person? They're right by the fire. Oh, come on! I need a hit! Oh, you fucked it up, Gabriella. Can you fit? Uh, can you fail? I mean, can you, uh, bail him out there? Raphael? Nice! Hit this guy. No. I'm gonna take a risk and see if we can just. Oh, it doesn't matter, Santa. <laughs> yeah, good hit, Anna. Well, Daniela, can you just hit this guy? Yeah. Good deal. Let's we'll move you guys a little more here, cause you're gonna get attacked. I don't like wherever they're going around to. There's gotta be an opening I didn't see. Ow! Oh. Woo! Ah! Fucking... Those people piss me off! Don't hit us, don't hit us. Yeah. I swear I wish you would have had Pilar. Okay. There. Well, you didn't get to see it, sadly, but the magic spear came down and hit that person and killed them. 
Okay, so we're gonna drop a lantern. Hmm. We'll drop one right there. I know it's a little close to us and all, but whatever. Let's see, let's use uh I guess we gotta just attack. And then I'm not using this before. Let's see, move directly through a hex occupied by an enemy, then make an attack on them. Can I just use that to go there? No. My own people are blocking the way. Okay, I gotta figure that out a sec. We'll do this part first. We can do that. Okay, you just... Just go here. Go through. Did I do it wrong? I've never used this one before. Go right there. I don't want you to go to those... What? Confused, as you can tell. All right, let's uh. Actually, we're gonna move right here. We're gonna just kick this guy. There we go. Yeah, we'll come back and hit him in the. Back. Oh shit! I'm paying attention, derp. Could have done a better job of that. It worked, but it could have been better on my part, to say the least. Okay, you move there. No. Okay, now we gotta deal with this person. Move directly through a hex occupied by an enemy, then make an attack on them. That's what I wanna do. Oh, there, that's how you do it. Nice! And then we'll have Laszlo switch to his sword and come up and stab him in the back. Good job, Laszlo. And we'll just move back up there. Yay! Burn! Burn! Burn, bitch, burn! Please don't hit me. Thank God. <laughs> oh, that's the battle whine. I've been practicing. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, you fucker. At least they're gonna stay in there. We're gonna. Oh, fuck. If we move them, like, can we do the lantern thing then? Bam! All right, you. Let's see, there shouldn't be any darkness penalty when you're shooting at them. Why is there darkness penalty? She's standing in fucking fire. Try and shoot twice. <laughs> nice. Do it again. Good deal. So we'll have him pull back. Sierra, you um, move up. See if we can fire from there. Nope. Let's see, Daniela, we'll move there. What about you? Can you hit from there? <laughs> nice, Laszlo. Hope we find your idiot friend, Tomas. Well, hopefully he's not an idiot. Probably shouldn't be so mean to everybody. No. Can you move there and hit Raphael? 76, 66, try and hit that guy, good deal, and then Anna, I'll just move you up a little bit, yay, fire, fire, good, still not sure about the magic spear, no, oh, you dick burger, That's not good. Uh. And she's poisoned. Sierra's gonna be fucked anyway, so... 
we're not going to be able to hit any of them. She can only go four spots. Oops, I can't see. Well, she is fucked. Oh, and the fire's getting near us. We're all going to be fucked. So let's, uh... See if we can get a shot off. Hell yeah! Okay, pull back here. Sierra, you pull... Pull way back here, I guess. Raphael, you get up there and get a shot. Sweet! Okay, uh, where are you, Raphael? Ah! Freaking myself out with the controls. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, um. Let's see, who's that? Anna? Daniela? You run back. Oh, shit. That's a whole lot of stupid on my part. I didn't think she'd be so stupid. It was my own fault. I shouldn't have clicked the button so fast. I'm like, nobody's gonna be dumb enough to do that. I'll just hit the button quickly. Yeah, she was dumb enough to do that. My fault. Let's see, let's switch you to a gun and go to interrupt. I'm so stupid with Daniel up there. Hey. Yeah, there she goes from poison. Yeah. I'm kind of glad that the fire came up from behind that person. Laszlo, why don't you run up there and hit him, Laszlo? I don't know, oh, R. I'll let you be the superstar. Okay, so, see, Daniela, you move over here. Try and put yourself out of, try and put your fire out. Just shoot a couple times. Probably should only shoot once with a good one, but... Oh, he must be cursed. That's why there's a little skull over him. Well, cursed or not, he still was able to hit. Let's see. Raphael, you go up and do the same. We'll just shoot once with you, though. Get the better odds. Ooh. Oh, man, we didn't finish him off. That sucks nuts. Anybody else? Oh, I forgot. You got... Poisoned. Move at half speed without triggering. Oh, that's not gonna help me. Let me just go back. Actually, can you attack that way. Even if he just stands, she just stands next to him. Oh no, nope, not enough moves. Yeah, I'm running the fires. Just like my stupid ass. Did. <laughs> Uh, I was incredibly dumb. Okay, Rebecca. Now let's, uh, Daniela, you come up and hit them. And then we'll have, uh, this dude, Laszlo, stab him in the back. Laszlo attack! <laughs> Feel like a big man stabbing a woman. Hey, luckily we don't have any injuries that are terrible. That was not <laughs> the best thing that's ever happened to us. The last attacker falls, and for a moment all is quiet, then a cheer rings out from your troops. Sweaty, exhausted, stained with dirt and blood, you are nevertheless victorious. You and your people gather up the servants and set about the task of taking your wounded people to the medical tent and searching the body of your fallen enemies. We got a little bit of stuff. On the shaman, you find a bit of medicine. On the warriors and trappers, a few pieces of useful equipment and a surprising amount of rations. When you're satisfied that you've uncovered everything, your servants carry the bodies into the jungle to be disposed of. Disposed of. Alright, um... That fucking sucked. Oh, and Pilar needs medical attention now. So does Rita the horse face woman. I'm on her. Putting the good doctor on Rita. Oh, and I guess some other people are going to guard for a bit, because our guarding number is way down. 
so many of these people not able to guard. Man, that attack was... Uh, it could have been worse. I thought it was going to end up worse, but it was still pretty rough. I'm going to switch to... I don't know if it's a good idea. We're going to switch from the Golden Spear to some spike traps for a bit. Just because I really like spike traps. I know the Golden Spear was good because we were able to stun a guy and like one shot him after that with the Golden Spear, but I don't know. Maybe I should bring it back just because of that. Now I'm tempted to. Hmm. Now we'll do some spike traps. If I don't like that, I can always change that later on. Man, where's that road go there? I really have no idea where we should go next. I guess we could go to one of these quest markers. Let's see. We didn't want to do that one. Maybe we should have gone that way. We just ended up way out. Just through dumb luck, we ended up way out and found the lost city of gold that everybody wanted. Texacoco. That's where they want us to go. Go. <laughs> I don't like listening to them, though. We're our own people. We listen to no man or woman. I don't even listen to my wife, and she's with me on our trip. Hey, y'all, uh... Let's see, where's the road take us? Let's go south. We may eventually have to go back to Tex Texcoco and all that. You know what? I think, though, I will save the rest of that for the next time. Thanks for watching, everybody.